In the north of the Netherlands, a gas storage reservoir can be found deep under the surface. This underground gas storage near Zoutvending is used to store natural gas in caverns that have been specially created for this purpose in salt layers. Natural gas is stored in these caverns to accommodate temporary imbalances in supply and demand, thereby ensuring that sufficient gas is available during periods of peak demand. For example, when we get up in the morning and have a shower and turn on the heating, or when we cook our evening meal. The caverns are owned by Energy Stock, a subsidiary of Gas Uni. Energy Stock currently has five storage caverns in use. The caverns are situated between 1,000 and 1,500 meters below the surface. They are between 50 and 80 meters diameter and 300 to 400 meters high. The Eiffel Tower could stand vertically inside one. Four of the caverns have a volume of approximately 600,000 cubic meters each, while the fifth is nearly a million cubic meters in volume. The caverns are formed by drilling two 1,500 meter deep holes into the salt rock. Two pipes are inserted into each hole, each consisting of an inner pipe and an outer pipe, which fits over the other. Water is pumped through the inner pipe into the salt layer, causing the salt to dissolve. The salt solution that is formed, which is known as brine, is then forced up through the outer pipe. This process takes a considerable amount of time. In fact, it takes two to three years before a cavern acquires the right shape and size for gas storage. Only then, it will be filled with gas. The pipes surface at two wellheads. A system of closable valves ensures that the gas can flow in a controlled way. The caverns are connected to the installation via pipelines. This ensures that the gas can be pumped into and out of the caverns, a process referred to as injection and withdrawal. The installation is in turn connected to the Dutch gas transmission network. Gas is pumped through this transmission network at a pressure of around 60 bar. When it's injected into the cavern, it is compressed to between a minimum of 80 bar and a maximum of 180 bar. This is done using electrically operated compressors. The increase in pressure heats the gas to around 100 degrees centigrade. It therefore needs to be cooled before injection. The compressors are controlled by pressure regulating stations. Before the gas is supplied to the transmission network, it needs to be treated at the installation. The gas that is extracted from a salt cavern may contain solid particles and liquids. These solid particles are filtered out by sludge catchers. Then the gas is heated with warm water that is stoked up by boilers. This is done because the gas cools down when pressure is reduced. Once the pressure has gone down, the temperature must be 15 degrees centigrade. The pressure is then lowered to 60 bar by means of heater choke trains, so that both pressure and temperature are suitable for supplying the gas to the Dutch gas transmission network. After this stage, moisture is also removed from the gas. This is necessary because the gas extracted from the cavern is damp due to the walls and floor becoming wet during construction. In a tower known as a glycol contactor, the gas is thoroughly mixed with glycol to dry it out. The glycol is then separated from the moisture so that it can be reused. The gas flows are measured during both injection and withdrawal. This allows to determine precisely how much gas is being injected into the caverns and how much is being supplied to the transmission network. Before the gas is measured, it is cleaned by cyclone filters to prevent any small particles which may be present from contaminating the installation. The installation has a control room where these processes can be monitored and operated. However, this control room is generally only used during maintenance. At other times, the installation is controlled from a central command post of Gas Uni, where both the installation and the caverns can be monitored and adjusted in real time. The installation is then ready to be operated on a fully automated basis. The underground gas storage Zoutvending is a unique gas storage facility. No other facility in the world is comparable to Energy Stock's facility. It responds more rapidly than any other, requiring less than 15 minutes to convert from full injection to full withdrawal. It is also uniquely flexible, being capable of switching constantly between injection and withdrawal. The underground gas storage Zoutvending contributes to the Netherlands' daily energy needs. 
The moment you turn up the thermostat in your house, switch on the shower, or light your gas hob can well be the moments when we start supplying gas.